hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel the topic that i am going to discuss today is terminal transferase enzyme a important enzyme used in gene cloning or genetic engineering in this video i am going to discuss three aspects namely first a short introduction to terminal transferase enzyme second its application and third a concept of homopolymer tailing but before going into the details i want you all to understand broad classification of enzymes used in gene cloning i have already uploaded a video of it on my youtube channel link is in the description so please go through it it will help you to understand this topic better so without a further delay let us understand terminal transferase enzyme if you are new to my channel and you have not yet subscribed subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the latest updates of my new uploads Terminal deoxynucleotidyl transferase is obtained from calf thymus tissue. It is in fact a template independent DNA polymerase because it is able to synthesize a new DNA polynucleotide without base pairing of the incoming nucleotides to an existing strand of DNA or RNA. Its main role in recombinant DNA technology is in homopolymer tailing. Terminal transferase catalyzes the repetitive addition of mononucleotide units from a deoxynucleotide triphosphate to the terminal 3' OH group of a DNA molecule. This enzyme has a molecular weight of 32,000 Dalton and consists of two subunits each with a molecular weight of 26,500 Dalton and 8,000 Dalton. Rate of reaction by using this enzyme depend on the inclusion of magnesium ion, molybdenum ion or cobalt ion in the reaction mixture. Now let us understand application of terminal transferase. Terminal transferase is used to add homopolymer tails to DNA fragments. Using this technique, sticky end can build up on blunt ended molecules. Second, it is used for 3' end labeling of DNA fragments with P32 that is phosphorus 32 or incorporating non-radioactive tag. Third, terminal transferase can also be used for addition of single nucleotides of the 3' ends of DNA for in vitro mutagenesis. Fourth, it is also used in sequencing of DNA by Maxim and Gilbert method. Now let us understand concepts of homopolymer tailing. Homopolymer tailing Terminal transferase purified from calf thymus provides the means by which the homopolymeric extension can be synthesized by adding nucleotides to the 3' OH terminus of a population of DNA molecules. DNA with exposed 3' OH groups such as arising from pretreatment with lambda phage exonuclease or restriction with an enzyme such as PST1 is a very good substrate for transferase. However, conditions have been found in which the enzyme will extend even the shielded 3' OH of 5' cohesive terminus generated by eco R1. Using precursor DGTP, PolyDG is added to both the ends, 3' cut ends of vector, while PolyDC is added to the 3' end of the foreign DNA. The vector and the clone can be joined by annealing the PolyDG with the PolyDC tails and then ligating them with DNA ligase. The cloned sequence can be retrieved using PST1 restriction enzyme. The method rule out the chances of reannealing both the two alternative ends of the same DNA molecule or of two similar DNA molecules. In 1972, 
Jackson and his colleagues were among the first to apply the homopolymer method where they constructed a recombinant in which a fragment of lambda phage DNA was inserted into SV40 DNA. Now let us understand schematic representation of terminal transferase and reverse transcriptase in complementary DNA preparation and molecular cloning. This representative figure can be used as an application of terminal transferase and reverse transcriptase in complementary DNA preparation and molecular cloning. If you all want to understand role of reverse transcriptase enzyme, please see the video of it which I have already uploaded on my YouTube channel. Link is in the description. If you are watching my video for the first time, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the latest updates of my new uploads directly onto your mobile phone. Thank you.